What do you do with prospects you're trying to recruit who say they don't have the money? Or they give you any one of a number of dozens of excuses why they're not able to sign up right now. So let's say you're talking to Bob. Bob is your prospect. And Bob's like, hey, look, it sounds great and everything, but I can't get started until next Friday, until my next payday. Or, hey, I got a lot going on right now. Let's follow up in a month. We get all of these excuses as recruiters in the network marketing business. So what do you do with Bob? Here's what you do. Pretend you signed him up. Start working with Bob. Because here's the thing. Were you trying to recruit to Bob or were you trying to recruit through Bob? If you're just trying to recruit to him, all you care about is recruiting him. You're just going to have to play the waiting game and try to get him on board. But if you always looked at Bob as a doorway to 100 contacts that he's got that you want access to, go ahead and start accessing them. So Bob says, hey, look, I can't get started until next month for whatever reason. I say, hey, no worries. We'll get you started when we can get you started. But in the meantime, let's start making you some money. Here's what I mean. Uh, let's, start, let's get a short list of some people that you think would be amazing at this business that you would love to have on your team. And give me some of those names. Give me maybe two or three of those names right now. Who are some amazing people that you think would be great at this? Okay, it's your sister, Jane. Uh, it's your friend, Larry. And it's your, and it's your, uh, your, your cousin, uh, Mark. Okay, great. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to give me uh, their phone numbers. I want you to give me, two, give me two compliments that I can actually use for each of them. Tell me about Mark. What, what's amazing about Mark? Oh, uh, you know, he's the hardest worker I know. I mean, he is just, he's so dedicated to his, to his job and to his family. I mean, he's just, uh, he's just a really focused guy. Fantastic. What else? Uh, he's also, uh, you know, just loves helping people. You know, he's really, he's, a, he's an amazing he's a Christian man. He loves to help people. Fantastic. Give me some compliments, two compliments for the other two as well. Boom, I get those. Then I'm going to call those people up. Even though Bob is not in the business yet, I'm going to call them up and I'm going to say something like this. Hey, Mark. Hey, it's, it's Brian Carruthers. We've never met before, but I was just uh, talking with you, your cousin, uh, Bob, and uh, he was, uh, we're, we're, I'm working on a project with him right now. And we we're just talking about some different people he knows. I said, hey, look, uh, who is uh, one of the hardest working, down to earth, uh, uh, you know, dedicated people that you know? He said, oh my gosh, my cousin Mark, that's that you're, you're describing him to a T. And he started, he started telling me about how amazing you are and how you love helping people and, and you're so kind and generous. Mark, Mark's going to say, oh my gosh, that's so nice of Bob to say. I'm like, I, well, it, 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 you sound like an amazing, amazing person. And that's why I asked Bob if I could get your phone number because I wanted to reach out to you. Like I said, well, he and I are working on a project together. And I don't know whether this is uh, up your alley or not. But um, I'm working with an amazing company that is helping people out there in a big way. And I wondered if you keep your options open to side projects, if the money is exciting enough. Not only would you be able to help a lot of people, which is, seems to be what you're all about, but also making some amazing side money in the process. Would you be interested in taking a look at what we do? And he says, yeah, sure. I say, fantastic. I got a short video. It's about 20 minutes long that explains all about what we do. And um, you know, when, when can you uh, spend time to watch that? Tonight at seven o'clock? Awesome. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to put it in my calendar because I don't want to leave you hanging. Okay. Uh, at 720, I'm going to be on standby. When you're done watching the video, call me back to the same number I'm calling you from right now. And we can discuss it, see if it's a good fit. If you have any questions, I can answer them for you. Sound good? All right, awesome. See, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Bob, somebody who is not able to get started right now, okay? But I'm going to start working his contacts as if he did sign up with me already. And so when, when uh, Mark says, hey, I'm interested, let's, let's, let's do this. I love what I saw. So guess what? I'm going to go back to Bob and say, hey, Bob, guess what? Your cousin Mark is all over this. He's excited about it. So we only need a hundred bucks or whatever your startup cost is. We only need a hundred dollars to get you started. Uh, so that way you can get credit for bringing Mark in. So and at this point, you guys, there's something, you, there's a couple of options you can do. You can say, hey, look, I will spot you your startup cost. And when you get paid on Mark, you can pay me back. Or you can say, hey, I will actually sign Mark up as a customer. I'll get paid the commission. I'll use that to pay your startup fee, Bob, to get you, get you into the business. So basically you just got into the business for nothing. Uh, so all you did was just made a referral and that first referral converted, and now you're in the business for free. So this is how, over the years, I have networked through people, taprooted through people that were not ready to get into the business for whatever their various reasons are. So I hope that you can, um, uh, you can uh, employ this concept uh, into your organization. 
So that way, all of the countless, because look, we all know that out of 10 prospects, one might be ready to get started right now. Four or five might be interested, but have reasons why they can't. And then the other four or five just have no interest. Looking, You're looking for the people that are interested, but have an excuse why they can't. This is what you can do to go through each of those as doorways to hundreds of contacts each that they can eventually turn you on to. Start small. Okay. When I talked to Bob, I didn't say, hey, give me a list of 100 people. He's going to say, I'll get back to you in a week. But if I say, hey, give me the names of two or three people that you would love to have on, on your team in this business when you get started. Start small and you'll build big.